hello everyone welcome back to my channel technology and today in this video tutorial i will show you guys how to make your own web-based file server on raspberry pi with file browser so you just need to follow me i will show you guys step by step so as you can see i have connected through vnc to my raspberry pi so if you don't know how to configure it i have already made a separate video on this topic so you can check out on my channel or else i will give you the link to my video description so first i will set a set static ip to my raspberry pi so for that i will go to edit connection go to advanced then edit connections here i have connected through wired if you if you if you want to configure wireless then you can click over here so i'll configure the wired connection next i will click on ipv4 now click on add now i'll put my ip address over here which is 192.168.0.122 netmask is 24 gateway is 192.168.0.1 now i will click on save so if you want to give any dns i'll use a uh, google dns over here now i will click on save now close the connection now what you have to do you just need to open the terminal on your raspberry pi after open terminal you just need to go to my this website okay so first what i'll do is i will update and upgrade the raspberry pi so I'll copy the first command and paste it on my terminal and press enter. Now it will take some time so you have to wait for a few seconds. It's depending on your internet speed. So after update and upgrade your Raspberry Pi, you just need to download the file browser. For that you just need to go to that location where you want to download. So for that I will download under uh, desktop folder. So I'll type over here cd space home space my username which is uh, tapan in your case may uh, it is different it will different so you just need to type accordingly and after that i will type desktop okay now i'll press enter so i'm under desktop folder if i will type ls command so as you can see under desktop folder there is no file and folders so now what i'll do is i will directly go to my website and copy this uh, we get download link to file browser so I'll simply paste it on my uh, terminal and press enter. So as you can see, it is downloaded successfully on my desktop. So now what I'll do is, I will type ls command. So I'll type ls command. And as you can see, here is a file. Okay, so now I will unzip this uh, tar file. So the command will be tar space minus x v z f then space then copy this file name and paste it over here after that press enter okay so now if i'll type ls command as you can see file browser folder is showing under desktop so now what i'll do is i will give the modify permission to that folder so the command will be ch mod space plus x space then file browser folder name after that press enter now it is done so now what i'll do is i will directly copy this command to start the file browser using command using terminal so i'll paste that command and press enter okay so uh, it is showing no such file directory because i have put it wrong directory so i just need to simply edit this directory to desktop it is under desktop right now if i press enter now as you can see it is started successfully now if i'll go to my browser and type local host and port number is 8080 we'll type enter let's see it is working or not i will type my ip so as you can see file browser is uh, opening successfully so now what i'll do is to run uh, if you want to run file browser automatically on your startup you have to create a system service file for that i'll press ctrl c to cancel this and after that i will type sudo nano space etc space slash oh sorry uh, slash system slash system So you can also copy this command from my 
uh, website over here. You can easily copy from here. Okay. And paste it over here and press enter. Now you just need to copy this command, this configuration file to my, uh, from my website. And only you just need to change with your username over here, 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 and here. Okay. You just need to replace with your username. And after that, copy. And after that, paste it over here. Now press Ctrl O to uh, write out. So I'll press Ctrl plus O and press enter. Now I'll press Ctrl plus X to exit this. So now I'll type uh, to reload the system and enable service. So for that, I, I just need to type over here the first command. Second command and the third command to start the file browser. What I have to do is yeah, I just need to restart my uh, machine and after that it will work. So after restart, I will try to open that file browser. And as you can see, it is working perfectly. So the username is admin and the password is also admin. So as you can see, it is working perfectly on my computer. So before ending this video, I would like to share few quick things with you. I create high quality tech related videos every day. So if you enjoy my content and want to support my work, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also make sure check out my other videos for more helpful content. So I will see you guys on the next one next video. Till then bye bye take care.